June 11th, around 4 p.m., Assistant Chief Miller, uh, Public Safety Officer Griggs, being myself, were called to Churchill Pool in reference to a, a male that was attempting to sell narcotics to juveniles. Uh, we approached the vehicle, observed the driver throwing something, uh, later determined that to be uh, Xanax pills, approximately 30 of them. Uh, talked to witnesses, were able to get enough statements to charge the male, identified as Michael. I'm sorry, Michael Allen Maxfield, uh, with possession of Schedule 4 uh, for resale. How were you guys alerted to this situation? Uh, we were given, uh, had received a call from a, a juvenile at the pool that had been approached uh, mm -hmm. to buy the narcotics. And he, he told you that he had seen them? Yes, uh, described them pretty much to uh, exact. Uh, we also had other juveniles at the pool to do the same. Do you have any way of knowing how many people were approached by him at the pool? No, the pool was pretty well packed that day, several mm -hmm. hundred people, and it took days to interview all of them, but uh, the ones that we did talk to, the stories were pretty much the same. Was he, was he approaching strangers or were people that he knew? I don't believe he knew many people there at all. Mm -hmm. The ones we spoke to, nobody knew. So he's approaching strangers with pills at the public swimming pool? Apparently. That's kind of bold, isn't it? Well, uh, you know, when... You know, a drug dealer sometimes goes to drastic measures. Yeah. Uh, and then when you approach a kid, that's kind of the lowest of the low. What this was, the the pills that was taken off our defendant, a cell phone, which has uh, been a very important piece of evidence based on some phone calls and text messaging, mm -hmm. a computer that he had uh, set up at the pool, and also this was the uh, uh, some currency that was taken off of him. What was he doing with the computer at the pool? Uh, there was some music playing on the computer, but... Uh, uh, there's quite a bit of emails that were still brought up on the computer, I think, that uh, will be a very important part of it. Uh, this was a vehicle that was seized from our defendant, Mr. Maxfield, the 2000 Mustang GT. So that car, if, assuming that uh, the conviction goes through and there's court, the court order gives possession to you, will be auctioned eventually? Yes, and what the proceeds from these do is help helps us to buy new equipment to, to keep the a fight on, on their drugs here in our city mm -hmm. to keep them out. And, it, uh, it goes into the, what you call the drug fund. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, you could get anywhere from three to five thousand dollars, which could buy some much-needed equipment. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, technical equipment that we use. So.